Hello and welcome to Happy Scratch Coding Tips with Happy Code Club. For today's tip, we'll be learning how to make hitboxes. A hitbox is basically a custom invisible shape we can use to change the area a sprite can be touched. For example, we can set a hitbox on a sprite to change it to be touchable much farther away than the graphic appears to be. Hitboxes are widely used across nearly every video game. They have been used to determine whether the graphical images or models of characters or objects can bump into each other and help set up where on the graphics the colliding will happen. Our first step is to create our hitbox. This will be done as a costume of our sprite. Make sure to create a very simple shape that is a different size than your sprite's main costume. For this example, I'll make a huge circle. Next, we'll set up our code. Using a forever block, we'll put two change costume blocks, the first one being the hitbox and the second one being the main costume. Now we need another sprite to test this out. I'll create an apple for the time being. After you create your sprite, give it a bit of code so it can move around. I'll set up a go-to mouse pointer block and a forever block. Over on your sprite with the hitbox, place an if-then block between both change costume blocks. Set it up so that if it touches the second sprite, it does something. I'll use a change color effect block to show it changing colors rapidly. And there we go! We can see that the sprite with the hitbox is executing its code when something touches the invisible hitbox. So how does this work? Basically, within Scratch, when you use a forever block and place two change costume blocks within it, the program has to pick which costume to display. All code that happens in the forever block happens at the same time, unless there's a wait block or some other block with a time duration. No matter how many costume blocks you place within a forever block, only the last costume will be displayed since the code also has to happen in order from top to bottom. We can also execute code in between these change costume blocks. This means that all the code is being executed based on the sprite's last costume. If you were to place a block that checks if it's touching something, it will use the data of the previous costume and then switch to display the costume you want right after. This all happens about 30 times a second. And that's how you create hitboxes for your sprites in Scratch. Hopefully this will give you some ideas for making some cool programs. Thank you for watching!